Hello, my name is Mariana, and today this is a reading for Pisces. So Pisces, as usual, I'm doing this reading with my own tarot deck, so the cards that you see are from this deck. Um, so Pisces, let's just dive into your message because although it has a beautiful collective tone to it, I'm still going to keep this as a Pisces reading. Um, in your reading today, Pisces has to do with your place in the world and how actually the world needs you because this is exactly what we're starting with. So the world card here beginning your reading is talking about how the world needs you. It was talking about uh, what it heard was global crises. And the second um, word was, you know, not something that I was... Um, uh, too comfortable with it felt a little bit over the top but it felt something global was uh, just um trying to reach out for you at least for your consciousness especially because the next card being the five of pentacles and you know if you've seen um my readings you know that this card to me represents the x on the map so it's your place in the world right? And how the world needs you to take ownership of your place. But the interesting thing is that before any of the other cards came through, I was seeing this as uh, kind of like a pair of you already being where you need to be. You already are in this place that it's meant for you, right? Or the world needs you to be in or occupying this spot. But the thing about the five of pentacles is that, well, it talks about integrity, right? This sense of self-integrity, knowing your place, knowing where you belong, knowing your contribution to the world at large, right? To the collective in a sense. But here with the six of swords coming next, the six of swords here is talking about you are going to be taken to the place that you belong. So there is a transition, I want to say, Pisces. Um, and maybe that's the reason also why this has this um, underlying um, collective message to it, right? It's like this, um, it's almost like it's it's like uh, individuals, right? Because the fives to me, they talk about self. So individuals that on a collective scale are going to be taken to their rightful place, to their... Um, it's like to that uh, right spot, right? The X that marks, you know, the spot for each individual in their own place here on earth. So it's almost like earth is coordinating all of that because we're starting with that card, right? So it's kind of like this, um, again, this global scale, right? This collective scale so that it's almost like the earth is moving us all right? And maybe you, Pisces, being so sensitive, being so in tune, maybe you're more, uh, it's like you're more aware of this transition, of this shift, because the Six of Swords is talking about this, uh, it's like this journey of being taken from a place that you thought was where you belonged to the place that you actually have something to do there. So, the eight of uh, pentacles coming next, right? It's like the doubling of the five, right? Because the five is also here, the two X's, right? It's like this overlaying of two five of pentacles. But it's interesting because there is this shift. I was seeing the eight of pentacles in a way that I've never seen before, actually. Well, despite all of the message of um, doing sacred work, right? This very purposeful work for the world, in the world, it's also talking about the shift, right? It's almost like leaving the place that you thought that you belonged to actually going, right? Because we're all going to be taken there, specifically you. It's almost like you are aware of the transition, I want to say. And maybe that's the reason why this message wants to um, uh, remain for Pisces, because Pisces is aware of the journey, whereas perhaps everyone else is not. Right? It's like you are aware of the transition of the Six of Swords, but the Eight of Pentacles is something that perhaps um, it's like you're seeing in more detail. Because what I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles, this unusual image that I'm being given, 
is um, the shedding of the skin of a, of a snake, right? It's like there is this um, shedding of a skin that perhaps you know that is happening because it's like there is this purpose, right? It's like the, the world needs you to occupy your own spot, but it's not exactly, it's almost like it's, it's similar to where you were or to where you are at the moment, but there is a difference. It's almost like it's, um, it's close, but it's not exactly the same right? Because it's like, it's one step removed. It's like, it's here. It's not exactly here, right? It's like you were here in this X, right? So you were in this spot, but it's actually meant for you to be here. Or even like, uh, it's almost like both at the same time. Is that even possible? Which is so fascinating because it's like here, it's almost like, can you be in two spots at the same time? It, it feels like well, perhaps here in this transition, maybe that's where it's like, that's where you realize maybe, okay, that's so fascinating. It's almost like this Pisces. It's like your body is in one place, but your spirit is in another, right? And that is what creates kind of like this sacred bridge to this purposeful work, right? Because somehow this it's almost like this is a transition. The Eight of Pentacles is the transition, but it's almost like um, it's almost like you don't even have to go that far. It's almost like your body is just going to be like um, you know one step removed from this, but it's close enough that you still. It's like it's the same snake, right? It's like it's it's just like a, a much more. Um, raw type of skin that is now um like seeing the light of day right it's like it's now um breathing right because because the old skin is still here it's like it's close by right it's almost like the transition it's almost like the the um, the perception of the distance it's actually in spirit in is in the ethers it's not exactly the body the bot, it's almost like, you know, just thinking about like moving, physically moving, right? It's like you don't have to go that far away from where you were, right? Because that's where, you know, the place that you thought that you belonged, but it's just like this adjustment. But spiritually, it's like you're going miles, you know, far away from where you were because it's like it's part of this sacred work. It's part of the purpose right? That the world needs you to occupy or do or perform or execute or be, right? And so here, the next card, which is the four of pentacles, it's interesting because this is the old skin because, you know, I often say that, well, whenever I see these two cards, and it's interesting because um, the five is right uh, on top of the four of pentacles. So here is the, the skin that was... Um, left behind right the shell in a sense and here you were you were in it you were still wearing that skin you were still in that personality in that um self-integrity perception of who you are right occupying that space but since this transition right like your spirit is conducting you right is guiding you through this transition where you're going to leave in a sense it's almost like leaving the body, but not exactly, right? Because you're still attached to the body. It's just that you perhaps will have the notion that you can observe, right? The shell or the skin or the old place, the old home, the old clothes, right? It could be just like literally like leaving your clothes behind, but you know, um, it's almost like you're not going to donate that, uh, that bag of clothes, uh, of old clothes, but it's like it's going to stay there because it's almost like it, it grounds you. It's very fascinating because it's like you are changing, right? You are, it's like going through this uh, metamorphic type of transition because of your spirit, but it's almost like you, it's like you have this notion that this Skin that is going to be left behind it's like it's where you were right it's almost like you have this 
pretty clear notion of the vessel, of the place, of the room, of the boundary, of the limitation. But the thing about the guidance that is coming next, Pisces for you, with the two of swords coming next, is that it's almost like that, that um, what is the myth that was talking about, was it uh, Persephone? Is that how you say it in English? Um, there is some sort of, uh, oh my God, uh, she, she goes to the underworld or he goes, no, I think it's Persephone that goes to the underworld, right? Uh, it's kind of like she's locked there. But then, uh, what is the name of her lover, her soulmate? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Prom Prometheus? Prom Prom I, I don't know how to say that name in English, but either way. So the guy goes to the underworld and then when he's leaving, like he receives this guidance of not looking back, right? Not um, just not checking what's, you know, being left behind. And here's exactly that. The Two of Swords talking about not looking back, right? I'm sorry if I butchered that story, that myth. Um, you know, I learned that myth in Portuguese. So for me, it's really hard to translate that. But anyways, I truly hope that this... Um, made sense that this connected something for you if you know anything of this story the main thing is pisces you know you have the clear notion that you are um making this transition right your spirit is making this transition and leaving behind the old shell the old skin the old personality the old whatever right it's like the the it's like the outline is still there. The old comfort zone is still there, right? But you're being guided not to look at it. It's almost like, so thinking about the old clothes, right? It's like, it's okay for you to leave them there, but it's like, just don't look back, right? Don't look at it again. Don't turn towards it again. It's almost like, leave it as it is. It's so fascinating because I'm just thinking that, you know, I just made like this huge um, cleanup. Uh, maybe you can call it a, a spring clean. Uh, I don't know how, does, how that's called. Anyways, uh, like this huge uh, just um, cleansing of my own clothes, right? And now that I'm thinking about it, like those bags are still there and I haven't looked at them like since. And it feels pretty much like this, right? It's like you have done like this cleansing transition but it's almost like because it still anchors you somehow it's like you're not inclined or maybe you're being guided not to look back at it because they would somehow cling on to you the eight of swords ending this part of the reading right and because the eight of swords is right um underneath the eight of pentacles it's interesting because there is a little bit of a um, Kind of like this, um, it's like this glue, right? It's like an attachment somehow. The Eight of Swords is talking about like this attachment to what was or uh, how things presented themselves or how it's almost like there is some sort of glue that connects you to where you were, right? To the old outline and it's interesting because um when i was thinking about this word outline actually i was uh i was being given the word timeline this old timeline is there an attachment because if there is this guidance of the two of swords right before the eight of swords comes into action and you know okay going back to the myth right persephone's myth I don't remember, but I think that he, the guy looks back and now he's stuck there or she is. Um, I can't remember properly, but you know, it's almost like that. It's like darkness, just holding a grip on you, right? So if you look back to the thing that you left behind, the skin that you shed or that was left, you know, uh, where you were, it's almost like it's, it's going to have like this, um, grip right it's, it's like it's going to cling on to you it's going to 
somehow hold you captive, right? And this is, it's interesting because now that I'm thinking of the world, right? The message of the world needs you, Pisces, but needs you like fulfilling this purposeful work, right? Which is like just one step ahead from where you are. And it feels like, it's almost like not looking back and maybe that's the reason why the Two of Swords is so, so significant coming before the Eight of Swords, because I don't feel like this energy wants to hold you. In fact, it wants to be kind of like the breeze, right, that is pushing you to this, just because the way that I was seeing these two cards lining up, you know, all of the arrows pointing to the Eight of uh, Pentacles, it felt to me like this, the interest like of the darkness in the sense, or the interest of um, like space, right? Space and time, perhaps. There is interest. Oh, there was a reading, I can't remember which reading it was, that was talking about those that were stay, staying um, in the safe harbor, holding space for when, you know, um, the person in the reading, the sign in the reading was going to return, right? It's like they were going to take care, they were going to hold this space, right? It's almost like that, but it's, in a sense, it's almost like you don't have to look at it. It's almost like you don't have to turn back to say goodbye, right? You don't have to face the place that you're leaving. That's so interesting. It's almost like just leave and don't look back. Leave and don't it's like follow your spirit. Your spirit is pushing you, and so are they, or these energies, like these, you know, the, the old energy that is um somehow or that would somehow hold you in place if you look back. But if you don't, it's almost like they are in favor of this, right? It's like they they want to, it's almost like blow the wind in your favor, right? It's like blow the wind so that your sail can just um, move ahead and fulfill this purpose. So there is intention in the Eight of Swords. It's not, it's not just one-sided thing. It's, it's just a matter of you looking ahead, right? Also because the twos to me talk about the steps forward. So it's almost like follow your spirit, follow the lead that your spirit is uh, guiding you towards, which is taking you forward and not backwards. And so what was back there, it's actually going to help you, right? Instead of cling on to you, which is so beautiful in a sense, right? It's like uh, the old wants you to progress, wants you to fulfill this purpose. It's so interesting. It's so unexpected, to be honest, but that's the thing. It's almost like there is no... It's like you don't owe anything to those that are staying in the darkness, for instance, or in the old, or staying in the old framework, right? Or in the old skin. It's like it, it's like you've been there, you were there, right? So it's almost like you don't have you don't owe these ones, these energies, anything. And in fact, it's like the the moment that you acknowledge that, that you respect that, that you uh, listen to this guidance of not looking back, it's almost like they're now going to actually push you, right? It's like they're going to um, act in your favor in moving forward. So interesting. I've never seen that image before. Well, I've never seen that both in this Eight of Pentacles or in this uh, Eight of Swords in that way. So it's almost like, you know, everything that was working against you or that you thought would work against you, it's actually working in your favor. It's so bizarre. So Pisces, I am going to pull more cards for you as well as the astrological runes and the extended reading. So if you want to join me there, I'll be very happy to see you. You can find a link down below. If not, see you later. Bye.